Hello everyone, welcome back to Catherine's Plates. It's summertime, my husband Thomas is ready for some ice cream. Heck yeah. And he wants to make his own ice cream, so he did some research and found this ice cream maker, which is called this Nostalgia Four Quart Electric Ice Cream Maker. Ice cream! So you can make all types of ice cream with this. So, are you super excited? I am. You know he is. All right, so we're gonna kind of walk through just taking everything out of the box, showing you what it is, and then we're going to make some ice cream. Let's start opening the box. See what we got. Hey, looky there. <laughs> okay, now if you're interested in this ice cream maker, we'll put the link down below in the description box, and it'll also be found in my recipe blog, Catherine'sPlates.com. That's your mixing motor. Oh, look at the paddle, recipe and operating book. Canister. Canister. Well, that'll fit a lot. Four quarts. Lid. Yep. We got the retro model. Yeah, look at this thing. Isn't that cool? Bring this one out. All you need on that's a hand crank. <laughs> but you don't need it because it's electric right here. First thing you want to do is you take the canister. Take the canister and put it in the freezer. And get it nice and chilled. Needs to be cold to the touch, although that feels cold to the touch. That feels cold to the touch. <laughs> but it's got to be colder. Yeah, colder. All right, once we do that and we get it nice and chilled, we're going to come back. We're back <laughs> with a very cold canister. And then the next step is to prepare the ice cream mixture. And you'll just take a recipe found in the book and make that. So here we go. Now to start off, you want to make sure that all of your ingredients are in the refrigerator and nice and cold. So we pulled these out and these were the condensed milks. And then you want to make sure your, your other milks are nice and cold. So we're going to take a large mixing bowl and we're going to combine the milks, which is six cups. Mumbo cup. This is Thomas's cup. That's how much ice cream I'm going to have. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to open up three cans of sweetened condensed milk. Each one of these 15 ounces. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> look, look, look. Oh. <laughs> it's going to be thick because we put these in the refrigerator to get nice and cold. Put it in. Yep, we're going to add it in. Oh, it's definitely thick. Yeah, look at that. Now, once we add these, then we're going to whisk it all together. It's going to be a little bit. <laughs> now to give it a chocolate flavor, it says to use 15 tablespoons of cocoa powder. So I'm going to use the Hershey's brand here. Now just so you know, nothing is sponsored today. It's just our favorite brands and an ice cream maker that we wanted to try. Be careful with that cocoa powder. It'll go everywhere on you. So what we're going to do, add cocoa, now this is unsweetened, the sweetened condensed milk will give it enough sweetener for that. Oh boy. So I'm just going to place it into a small bowl. Is he getting it all in there you guys? I'm working on it. <laughs> we're at seven and I hope that's 15, I think I lost track. Now we're going to go ahead and melt the cocoa powder. I'm just going to use some hot water and just put enough in there until we get it nice and smooth. While I'm doing that, he's going to whisk together the milk and that sweetened condensed milk. Very carefully. There's a lot in that bowl. It's like quicksand. You want to make sure your water's hot so it'll really melt the cocoa and not leave clumps. I bet you this stuff right here would make one heck of a cereal milk. All right, I'm just trying to get it all smooth and incorporated. All right, y'all can see how smooth that looks now. Okay, what we're going to do now is add this to our milk mixture. 
and he's going to continually whisk that. Chocolate! <laughs> Ooh, the good stuff. And that is okay. how you make the chocolate ice cream. And give that a try. Where's that one cup measuring scoop? <laughs> this ain't no spoon. No, you're not trying it with that. <laughs> Y'all want them for a day? <laughs> Half spoon, we'll travel. <laughs> All right, let's give that a try. Oh. Oh my gosh. That tastes delicious. I could drink that right now. That tastes delicious. All right, y'all. Let's start making ice cream. All right, we're going to bring the canister out from the freezer. Nice and woo, cold. And then we're going to ladle this into the canister. Now you want to fill your canister only two thirds of the way full. It will, the mixture will expand while freezing, so you need that room in there. Ooh, maybe there'll be some left and I can drink Just it. Just drink it? <laughs> we'll see what's left. Dang it, I think it's all gonna fit. I think we can fit the rest in. Unfortunately. Perfect fit. What you need is some ice, a lot of ice. So we just got a bag of ice and then you need some rock salt. Now we're gonna go ahead and put this thing together. It's really easy to do. First thing you're gonna do is take your canister, place it into the bottom of your bucket. Now you wanna make sure that it fits on that knob on the bottom of the bucket. All right, now they have us taking the lid off and then this is a dasher kind of the mixer and then you're going to put it inside of the canister and then we're going to place the lid on. Now there's a hole right there and it's going to attach to the knob there. All right, so we're going to take this piece off and we're going to put the motor on. Now you don't have it plugged in yet because once you plug it in the motor starts and we're not ready for that yet. So you're just going to take the two ends here and put them in the grooves and then make sure that all aligns. There we go. Okay, it's set really tight. Okay, so we have a bag of ice, and just for reference, seven pound. it's a seven pound bag, and Thomas is gonna take the mallet and beat the heck out of it. We want small pieces of ice in there. You don't want big cubes, or it could lodge in there. Oops. <laughs> Little pieces of ice went everywhere. We're gonna open up the ice. We're gonna place six cups of the broken ice all around the canister and the bucket inside here. All right, next what we're gonna do is add half a cup of the rock salt, and we're gonna sprinkle it around the ice that's inside of the bucket. Another six cups of ice and more rock salt on top of that. One more time with just enough ice to cover the canister up to the canister there. Okay, after we plug in the unit, it's gonna run for about 10 or 15 minutes, then we're gonna go in, we're gonna stir the ice and the salt. If it starts melting, you're gonna lose about two to three inches of the ice, so you can add more ice and more salt. All right, we've unplugged it to turn off the motor. So we're gonna release the motor. It's been 30 minutes. There we go. We're gonna take the lid off. Oh yeah, look how thick that is. Mm. Yeah, I think that did good. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna give this a try for you guys. All right, we're gonna serve some up in a bowl. Now at this point, it should have a soft serve, soft serve. consistency. All right, let's give a taste and see what the texture's like and the flavor. That's really good. That's really good. It's very rich. I love that chocolate flavor, you know. It tastes like Blue Bell, that chocolate. Mm -hmm. But this is richer. Oh yeah. 
Mm. That's really good. <clears throat> That's really good. Now, if you wanted to put something on top or mix it in, mm. now would be the time to do it. Yeah. We have a winner. Oh, boy. I'm so glad Thomas found this one for us to try. It's summertime. <laughs> you know what's going into the ice cream. There's no artificialness to it. That's really good. It's really good. All right. Thumbs up on this one. Comment down below what you think. Let us know what your favorite flavors are for ice cream. All right. We will see you on the next episode. See ya.